I'm Gigi. This is Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Let's go fight this dude who's in my way. Ooh, Tombstone Drone. It's interesting that they're going with like, they're really leaning into like the robotic elements of everything here. Um, I'm gonna deal with the Malcontent Mummy first. Just to make sure they are dead and we can see what the Tombstone Drone does. Boom. This is out a sick burn, but that's no problem because Melody has Purify. Um, 86 attack. Um, let's see. Or Herbal Cure, not Purify. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, and this attack and then the burn might just kill it so we can frost the Tombstone Drone. Let's see how my plan works out. Frost, critical hit, is pretty good. Aw, oh, just not dead. Um, but you can do that. Um, both of you can... I'll have... A melody will probably kill the mummy, but I'll have Claire attack it anyway, just in case. Or maybe melody goes before it. Okay. Dodge! Well, I guess that's why I had Claire attack too. And now Claire needs a heal. I was wary of that. And battle done. Easy. Nice work. Um, Beast Jerry, I did not get one. I got a mummy dagger though. Um, wait, is that a charm? Wait. Oh, Melody probably can't equip it is the deal. No? Wait, is that an item? It's an item. Things creepy and probably cursed. The responsible thing is to do it and <laughs> is to do is sell it and let it become someone else's problem. Nice. Okay. What is this weird little archway? I don't know, but I see a treasure chest. Oh uh, well. Oh, we already have one of these. Eh, might still come in handy. Or we could just sell it. That's exactly what I was thinking. Sell it. Alright. You people. Um, frost from the Tumbleweed Mage could be a little dangerous. Um, so I think we'll take care of that first, because the fighting robots only have like physical damage, and I'm more wary of potential status inflictments. An 85 damage isn't too bad, and it is just down. Nice. Um, let's just kill it. Oh, um, how much does that do? 338. Um, okay, and then Melody still attacked the other one because Allison and Claire just swept the floor with the first one. Um, first aid Claire, and then, wait, you have star power now, so you can, I think it was low kick was good on these guys. And then Claire can just like attack it because Allison's low kick will do a ton of damage. Boom. And you're dead, son. Um, I'm just rocking through these. More scrap metal, more bestiary stuff. Okay, so we can go down or up. I'll see what's up first. Um, hmm. I'm unsure. Okay, this is something. Um, we can definitely just like take out one each turn is the thing with an attack from Allison and a frost from Claire. Okay, so Melody needs to heal herself and you are just dead. Please heal yourself, Melody. Um, then I'll have to heal Allison next turn, probably. And Melody needs some MP real bad. So does Claire. Do nice dodge. And you're dead. And then we first aid Allison, and we low kick the last one and attack with Claire. I am getting in the groove of fighting these guys. 
Boom. Ah, uh, like one HP left. Whatever. I don't know. Not a problem. Um, we are going to heal everyone up a little bit. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. And we need some ethers. Definitely not using the mega ether out of battle. So this was 60 MP, so that's the same as my potion or my melodies real good MP heal. That was a lot of ethers I just used though, so I might have to buy some next time. There are like ways up here. Um, I'm kind of thinking this feels more important, so I'm going to backtrack and see what's in the last room because I am anal about that. I need to get all my secrets out of the way. Oh, this is heal. This is a save point though. Ooh, nice tier of revival. Wasteland Scaffold. Okay, so we have... Uh, this, no, this I bet is the way forward if we have like a save here and like a whole thing there. So I will go up. Thank you very much. I think it was south to Mumford anyway. Hey. Hey, hey, I don't... Oh, no, I am not fighting you guys. Get me out of here. I already fought this encounter. Oh, I can push it? Okay. So I can't just walk through it. That's lame. But I'm pretty good at fleeing. Lamal. And there's just a spike pit over here. So you. You are this anyway. You still have to fight this setup. Um, guess Allison and go for the middle because I do not like its face. I'm going to need to get more water after this episode. I have I am stringing a bunch of episodes together in a row because I'm going to be out of town for a few days. So I need a little bit of a backlog to make sure I can um um, I'm distracted. Um, just do that. Make sure the middle one is dead. Sucks that Claire's pretty slow though. I might want to give Allison's agility headbang to Claire because Allison pretty much always goes first anyway. Um, we can first aid. Um, we can low kick you, because you're already pretty low. And then we can frost this guy. Um, but I need a backlog because I'm going out of town. And what, this is, so the seventh? No, the sixth episode went up today and I recorded the seventh episode today as well. So, and I had a, I've had a lot of good chances to record episodes today. So that's pretty nice. And this will probably deal with it. And she dead. I'm just glad that's over. Another ruby spear, but I don't really need another ruby spear. Okay, Allison, your training montage band. Um. Hmm. Allison doesn't need like any magic is the thing. So she doesn't need like the celestial circlet. And this gives six agility. Um, see, I don't know if agility is speed and dodging. I feel like it's speed and dodging. And Allison has had some good dodges. Um, what is Claire's? Yeah, Claire has very low agility. No wonder she's very slow. And so is Melody. That's why Melody's always going last. But we'll. 30 compared to 24 would be enough? I feel like, yeah, we'll test it out. Um, so I'm gonna give the Celestial Circlet to Melody, and then the training, the Sport Helmet to Allison, and then 
training montage band to you. Yeah, so actually, let's see... Oh yeah, Flower Crown says Celestial Circuit, please. Um, okay, so yeah, that's... That's Jody territory, and this is in my way. As usual, kiss Allison, and the tombstone, what it, the tombstone drone, that's its name. Tombstone drone didn't really pose much of a threat last time, despite it being like big and center, part of like the big encounters. But uh, it also didn't have too many chances to attack. But I'm just afraid of these um, tumbleweeds. Um, that's first aid you. Um, we can. You will die to burn next. Oh, I just froze it. That was the wrong thing. Whoops. It's resistant to that. My bad. Oof. But this guy will die to burn now. It didn't die to burn. Why didn't it die to burn? I don't know, but Allison really needs second aid. Um, please. You are like almost dead. Um, and then I can scorch you and you'll probably die. 401. Noted. That's roughly 400 HP at current time. Please die to fire now. Why? Can it not die to... Hmm. Okay, well, Melody will attack it then, and that will make sure it dies. Um, now let's dive bomb you and frost you. Boom. And boink. Gone. Nice work. And everyone gets healed, and I get the beast here. Ooh, and I got a mage hat. Um, let's see. That. Um, what is that an item? What? No, it's a, it's there. Why am I not seeing it on Claire? Can she not wear it? Cause she's already wearing a mage hat. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Um, ooh. Three more magic and three more magic defense in exchange for two regular defense. I'll take that. Um, so then, Allison. Um, you don't need any magic, so those are pretty worthless to you. All right. Nice. Now, what is my reward? I also got to read the tombstone drone entry. Powerhouse pin. Is that an item or a charm? That seems like a charm. Um, I also wear to preserve any star power left over at the end of every battle. Oh my god. Uh, put that on Melody. You need that, Melody. That'll be so good. I'll be able to heal um, MP so often with that. That, that is a fantastic item. Um, let's see. We, you. Um, these Morbid Machines are straightforward in their behavior, but they have the highest defense out of all the regular bots in the desert. Be sure to hit them hard. Gotcha. So they're just tanky is all. Um, you get out of my way. Ooh, a few nanobots. I actually do want to deal with this because um, I want the nanobot bestiary entry because I'm a sucker for filling out my bestiary. Can you guys please be faster than the nanobots? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Okay. Nice. Um, Melody attack this one, and you two attack the funky artifact. And then the funky artifact will be less of a threat on its own. Boom. There we go. Um, get a nice heal on Claire, and then Frost again. Boom. There we go. Didn't even break a sweat. Ooh, multi-scorch! And bestiary nanobots, just what I wanted. 
Ooh, multi scorch sounds really good. For ooh, but it needs 20 MP. I gotcha. Um, more powerful fire attack targets all enemies. That is good for 30 MP. Oof, I've also completely forgot about magic missile. Um, but multi scorch seems better than magic missile. Same MP, less star power. Um, and nanobots. Um, I feel like these are mislabeled. They definitely aren't nano, but they are pretty small. Regardless, these diminutive robots make up for their extremely low HP by traveling in swarms. Just about anything will take them out in one hit, so don't worry about using your strongest attacks. Focus on the group instead. HP 50? Okay, they're super weak. Nice. Now we can continue downward and avoid this guy, because I already had that encounter. I'm kind of trying to go for, like, just go for each encounter and then not bother with them if I have to, if I run into them again. Okay. We're going to go for the... Yeah. This is the plan. I don't know why I had Melody attack instead of Smooch Allison, but whatever. Actually, I'm getting to the point where I need that MP increase. Or that MP heal for Melody. So let's kiss Allison this time. Frost. Yeah, this will kill both of the high up ones. Probably. Dead. Nice. Mana drain. Don't like that. And dead. Nice. So it's just this guy now. So you can... What can you do? Um, not much. I don't want to waste MP just to fill up my star gauge. Um, let's dive bomb you. And then frost. Uh, and 1 HP. What is that? Wait, <laughs> Miss, come on. 1 HP. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, I guess, yeah, that's what they mean by high defense, huh? Well, now I can heal Allison and get some of my HP back up. Um, I guess guard with Claire. How much does Allison do to it? 173. That was enough to do it. Um, nothing new. Activate some bridges. We're gonna come back up after we get a blue switch. Super flying robots. This is no, they're weak to ice. That's the thing. So I was about to be like, "Ooh, multi scorch would be really good here," but no. Um, kiss Allison, attack, and frost. I do like that they <laughs> track how many kisses you give. Unfortunately, Allison is never giving Melody any kisses. Please do not shoot Melody all at once, people. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to heal myself. And then this will kill those two, probably. Boom. Dead. Nice. Not a worry. Boom. And now we can use this nice and lovely magic aura. And probably just attack you regularly. Ooh, 90. Oh, it gives 90 MP to Claire because she has the band-aid. Nice. Ooh, I do love that. And you're dead, son. I probably should have, like, healed Claire or something. But it's fine. Uh, switch and then another guy, another forced encounter. Is there going to be anyone up here now that we've gone back up now? Let's switch activate. Just going back up for funsies. You die. Okay. I think we kiss Allison and then... Let's see. I guess we just build up some star power on Allison so we can high kick the flying guys and scorch the mummy. Four fifteen. So 
The mummy's probably got like 900 to 1000 health or so. Please stop draining my MP, sir. Ooh. Burn myself? No, thank you. Um, that'll kill you, and Frost can deal with these guys. Heal myself. Oh, it's not dead yet. Yes, drain Allison's MP, you fool. Um, okay, let's see. I think I'm going to heal Claire, because Claire is not very tanky, but Melody is. Um, and you can just finish off the mummy. The mummy with Brandon Fraser. You dead. Now I will do another magic aura because why not? Because this guy is down for the count. That powerhouse pin is so good. Power indeed. Nice. Are we almost to Mumford and Sons? Um, ba -ba -ba. This seems boss arena if I've ever seen it. Um, I'm just going to avoid the boss arena. <laughs> nope, spike pit. What's through here? Nothing's through there. Can't get through there. So, <laughs> boss arena time. That is a big boy. Another robot. This one seems to just be minding its own business instead of trying to kill us though. Do you think it could be friendly? I doubt it, but I also don't want to bully some random robot if this one's harmless. We also tried talking to that bird and that didn't really work out. Yeah, but we're supposed to be the good guys. We don't jump random strangers. Plus, maybe this one's seen Jody. True, but still. Well, I saved, so no harm, no foul. Um, sorry to bother you. Have you seen a tiger around here by any chance? Are you Mumford? Ooh. Uh, hello there. D. P pardon? Is your voice processor glitching? It's definitely about to say destroy. D. D. Like, definitely? You've definitely seen a tiger? Mel, I think now is the time to run. Destroy. Yeah. Abominable automaton. Hmm. I also can't help but notice this is the end of the path, and I'm kind of thinking somehow Jody is gonna like pop out of this thing. Okay, I definitely should have healed, but Melody can take some hits. She is strong. Um, you're definitely weak to frost. Nice kiss on the cheek to boost your stats. 200 and it is so yeah weak ties oh my lord all out barrage just right out of the gate okay um let's see what was my let's do this one um good thing allison dodged that though let's see Ooh, ice blade will actually be really good on herself so I'll actually use one of Allison's little book things now. Let's see how much... Let's see. Um, I have several antidotes, and I don't really need them because Melody has a lot of... Um, boom. 219. It didn't petrify. Um, but I don't really need those antidotes because Melody has so many different healing options. Um, first aid on yourself, Melody. Um, attack to do some ice damage, and then frost. So, uh, ooh, that's pretty good, because before she just did 200, so that's like an extra 75 damage, roughly. Grabs a boulder. Um, please heal everyone again, Melody. I would appreciate that. Um,. Can I low kick you and hit you in that big ol' eyeball of yours? And will you be like double weak because I'm also icy? Um, 
You know what? We're just we're just gonna risk the boulder. The boulder. 314. So it was like double weak to that, yeah. Oh, boulder. Oh, because it threw the boulder. It didn't oh, it threw the boulder at Melody for a lot of damage. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, we're going to second aid Melody. And we're going to attack again. I mean, it's doing a lot of damage at once, but I'm pretty quickly able to recover is the thing. Until this sort of thing happens. Um, and Allison is no longer infatuated. Um, you know what? Because I want to capitalize on this magic aura, I'm going to do that. You are going to attack with your ice sword. And did you have like a healing attack? Um, healing magic first aid with a potion using both in a single action on Allison to do a lot of health. Because she needs that. Potion plus. 366. Nice. Okay, now you no longer have Ice Blade, but that's okay because it's kind of almost dead. It's getting there anyway. Do not frost. Or do not scorch it. I need you to frost it. Miss! Oh lord. Um, okay. That's fine. Um... We're just gonna heal Melody up again. <laughs> Melody really is the healer. Um, and we're going to dive bomb you, see if that'll do some nice damage. Let's see, Melody casts first aid on herself, Allison dives bombs for 322. Ooh, it's so close. And boulder. Ooh, that brace is so good, but this will kill it so I don't even need to heal. Boom! <laughs> Unless you miss. Oh no. I did not see that coming. <laughs> that... okay. Okay, game. Um, but I don't want Allison to get half experience from this, so I'm just gonna revive her. I definitely should have not been cocky and also frosted with Claire. I used an antidote. Oh my... Ugh. God. Ugh. That's upsetting. I used an antidote instead of a tear of revival. Silly me. Uh, it's still moving. Crap, even after all that? How do we take this thing down? What do we do, run? Uh, hold on, who's that up there? Oh, Jody's gonna come take care of it for us. <laughs> Jody! Claire, what are you three doing all the way out here? We should be asking you that. Can we catch <laughs> can we catch up after the robot is dealt with? Huh? Oh, sure thing. Whoa. Here he goes nothing. What? <laughs> I don't know. Now, where were we? Hug. Jody, I've never been I've never been so happy to see you in my entire life. I can see that. How come you two are looking for me though? Jody, you've been MIA for 24 hours. God, has it really been that long? Oh, I'm so sorry. I probably made everyone worry sick about me, huh? We also found your wallet. Oh, I must have dropped it during a scuffle. Thanks for that. So how come you skipped town, Jody? You on the l the lamb? I think that's the lamb. Or maybe trouble in paradise with faith? What? No, it's nothing like that. I know. I just haven't gotten a chance to tease you since yesterday. Faith told us you were investigating some monster activity and never came home. She sent t she sent us out to find you. Yeah, I tried texting Faith so she'd know I was safe, but I guess it never went through. It's not just you. There's some sort of electromagnetic disturbance messing with the phones and internet back in Greenridge. Wait, really? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, we uh, have a lot of catching up to do. Melody, Allison, and Claire take a short rest and fill Jody in on the situation with Javis. HP and MP are covered. <laughs> and waste. At least, I mean, tears of revivals are valuable items, so whatever. It's only 350 experience we lost. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. We assume there's a connection between Javis and the monsters you saw. Do you have any leads? Yes, actually. You wouldn't happen to try to betray us, Jody, would you? I followed a suspicious cloaked figure up here. I couldn't see their face, but there's a chance it was Javis. We can definitely ask around and see if anyone knows anything about Javis once we've taken her home, though. 
Her? Her who? Glyph, the robot you were fighting? Glyph, did that gizmo you, your friends told me to use work? You feeling better? Oh, hello there. Actually, I, I should keep it with like the destroy voice. Yes, thank you so much for re rebooting me. I'm really sorry about my behavior just then. I wasn't myself. Someone reprogrammed me to hunt down any beast folk who entered the desert. Oh, um, it's okay. We're glad you're feeling better. Yeah, nice to meet you properly, Glyph. Okay, question. Glyph, are all of the robots out here normally friendly? Sadly, no. We always have a lot of fair robots around these parts, and something seems to be agitating them this week too. But yeah, my friends and I are kind of special, actually. Speak of which, I should head home. Good idea. Let's head back to Mumford to regroup. I can take the lead there if you if you three want. Sure, actually I've been taking the lead lately. Oh, er, I thought I said go ahead. Oh, um, then by all means I'll be our rear guard. Let's head to Mumford. It's directly north of here. Did I? That's the fourth wheel. I think I just selected the wrong option, but oh well. Um, exciting battle. I, I didn't expect Glyph to be friendly after that. I like that a lot. And she's nice and level 13 like the rest of us. So we are expected to be level 13. So we are right on pace to be on level. And yeah, now we have Jody in our party and we'll be able to jump over spikes question mark. See how that works. So next time we will continue on to Mumford. See you then.